for it and see it when it starts. Okay, so now recording is in process. And we'll st we have four people in the quiz. You can join the quiz late if you want to. We'll start it up. It should be the quiz week four section. Some of these questions are ones that were from last week where people didn't answer them correctly. You know, we didn't get a large population. If we get everybody knows the question, we'll, we won't use it the next week. Once again, it's on premise and then IPS. There's also this new uh, container as a service, which that answer is in there now. seen this question for a while. I, I learned about this from the ACE uh, Udemy class, and I, I use it periodically now. It's kind of a cool little tool. Yeah, it looks like I got 100% there, so we can take that off. That's good. I think this time we should get 100% on this one. This has been from week one as well. So one thing there, you can see it has an equals. Most of the ones that have equals have a dash dash option.
Oh, we're good. We got like 100% on that one. That's good. It's kind of a hackneyed question, but it's basically breaking down like the help page for the G Cloud stuff. This is a little tricky too. This is just saying what's the order based upon what you see there the easiest to use, hardest to use in terms of data transformation uh, components from Google. Yeah. Data prep is the one that uses a UI. Uh, data flow is beam, flow, stream, beam. Data proc is Kubernetes uh, with Spark. Proc, Spark. So here, once again, ETL component supports batch and streaming. Batch and streaming. Beam, Beam is part of, right, you know. There you go, flow. Flow, streaming, Beam data flow. Data proc, you know, when you think of data proc, you think Spock, Spark, Spark. And Spark has the SQL component where you can enter those commands interactively. It does R. You can, with R, you're typically interactive. SQL, R. Proc. There you go. Flow has four. Just remember that. Four, F O U R, F L O W, four. Java, Python, the Go Scholar. Proc, Cinco. Proc, Cinco, 5, R, Python, Java. You got it right there. I'm kind of telling you, sorry. There you go, 100%.
permissions are attached to roles, roles are attached to identities. PRI, PRI, IAM, PRI. You can make primary out of that. <clears throat> These are things like if you want to go directly to BigQuery, how could you do it? All right. You can use Google Cloud Storage. You could use upload of a CVS, Google Drive, Bigtable, or you can manually create it. You notice there's no dashes. If there were double dashes and equals, you could make it more than the minimal command. None of those have dashes there. This is the last question. It's the only new question for the week. All right. So very good. Well, it turns out we're going to do a lab where we'll get some practice with that. Congratulations, all you guys. Um, so with that said, it is 1030. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over and, and do a quick lab. Which again, it, it comes from uh, that list. And let's go ahead and switch over to that and hopefully it won't knock me out of uh, won't knock me out when I switch over to this. Let's see. Yep, go ahead. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is I, I, I'll i do this lab here. I'll show you how to, to, to do one, and we'll just step through it. And then uh, if you want, you know, you could just do your own lab or you could follow along here. If you haven't done a lab before, this will be at least one that you could figure out. And then... Uh, I'll just share the actual Google Cloud console that uh, I'm doing it as. So once again, you, you typically you click on start lab, you're in an incognito window. Maybe you see up there, uh, I'm gonna use my subscription. And I'm gonna open Google, Google Cloud console. I'm gonna say use another account. I'm going to come here and copy the username. I go back and copy the password. And the only thing that I'll, I'll have is the project here, which we can get, but in case it asks me, I already have it copied. And I'm going to drag this one over to the side just to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing for this lab. So basically he's saying that you use cloud commands to do things. So we know that this is going to be in the cloud shell. 
go ahead and start that. Close this. They want you to start the lab. They want to talk to you about regions. Um, once again, regions and zones. So regions uh, and zones. Okay. Uh, R before Z. Zones are the subset so us east one that's a region us east one b is a zone now i uh, talking about things live in particular zones uh he is He's asking, what's your default region? So one of the things is, we'll go ahead and put the command here. He's saying, do this based upon your project. Get my project up here. As well, control C. See what he's shown, and these are for the compute resources. So I think this is like I, thought, I think we did the command for what was the default setup for compute. Yeah, I know this. No, this is GCal compute info describe. So he's describing the project for the compute instances. These are kind of the setup, all the defaults. So he's saying, so let's see if we can grab for default there. So we have the Google Compute default zone and default region. So let's see if we can do this. So we know, I don't know if this will work or not. So you know you can do gcloud config get value. Let's see. Google compute default zone. So maybe you have to do it. That's on the core. Maybe you have to do that from like compute. I don't know how to do that. Does anybody know how to do that? Value. Let's do this. Let's do a help on this. See if there's a how to specify something other than. other than the default. Let's look. Okay, so it has section property. Okay, let's do that. Section property, compute. Section slash properties. Okay. Compute has no. It seems odd because it seems like it should have it. Do you have any clues? Speak up. 
if you're if you're muted, you'll have to unlike. Let's do this for a second. Go back. Some more info about how to do this. So it's compute. Hi, uh, sorry. Uh, hey, how are you? Hi. Uh, hi, Dick. Hi, good morning, everyone. Well, I just went to the uh, I, I will lead, and I found that we use, I mean, this is from the official uh, documentation. We need to, I, I shared the command in the chat. Say again, Let me. you may look at the chat and see. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let me look. So I don't see it in the the Slack channel. You're talking oh, about oh, oh no, uh, and, uh, yeah, that one. This is from the. I mean, I can share the link. Okay, gotcha. Right here. Yes. Yeah. So let's see what you got. Let's copy that. So we were trying to get the default compute zone. Let's see what you got here. You're getting the project ID. But we need to uh, replace the project ID with the, with the one we are using. Uh, yeah, yeah. So all, all I was trying to say is in this lab, they were talking about how to get your defaults from the uh, from this. Or pardon me. He was saying like, do this G Cloud Compute project info describe, and then he was specifying the project. That that command you posted there. That. Let's do that again. Has no property default zone. I think. Unless maybe I did this wrong. Which one? Let me let me paste what you put. Yeah, so that is the API is not enabled. Uh, let's try it. Yeah, so let's enable the API. Ah, because this is a quick lab, we can't enable that. But that's a good one. Let me uh, let me save that, and we'll I'll look at it later. I appreciate it. That's cool. And let's put this. Let me save it here. I'll save it in this thing. And then the other one, what we were trying to do was he had this. We're trying to get the default zone. Save that for later. All right. All right. Never mind. Let's just go ahead and go down what they can enable us to do. So he talks about uh, setting environment variables. And so one of the things that they do here is they do, they want you to do this. And you see this like a gazillion times. But you see that on the, um, the the quiz question as well. That let's do like so. Clear this. This is gonna work. If it's the value project. All right, so you, you can do that to get the project. So this guy up here, instead of doing the, the export, it literally and then the export part is just saying what uh, you're going to export this to all shells. It's variable. 
This is how you print it. I like some people are familiar with Bash. The next thing he's saying, export your, he's wanting to do this. And that was why I was trying to do the other command, which sadly won't work. So let's see what the zone is by just getting the result. I wonder if you could do this It's going to be on the next line. So we need to be able to grab that. I'll save this for, I'll play with it later. All right. We did the zone part and they verify that your variables were set correctly. Yep. And then he's wanting you to create a uh, compute instance. So one of the things kind of here to note is all of these, this is the minimal, right? You don't need, these are optional. The options are for the zone and for what type it is. Uh, he's got the name, but I think you can do this without the name. So let's do this. You may have to add a name. Okay. Yeah, instance names must be specified. Okay. All right. We'll uh, we'll do this as X. Make sure we don't do this. So that's the minimal. Hopefully, uh, have that specified right. And this is not the zone. Did you mean zone? Yeah, yeah, so that's the default. So it looks like he's going to take that. Let's just go ahead and hit Control C and not do it. All right, and using the zone, using the right uh, machine type, yada, yada, yada for the checkpoint. Then, uh, just to make sure we didn't create two. I don't think we had time to do it. Oh, we did. All right. Let's see for memory if we can stop. Delete. We want to do two X. So 
we don't get like too many instances. We can do a problem with that. All right. So let's at least click the check my progress. We definitely got that done. And then he's like showing you how to do help. We'll do help on this. It's interesting to a lot of times I do help like this, trying to figure it out. It's good to know you can do the dash dash help on the command. So if you go all the way to the end, you can put the help on delete. But it looks like you can do it this way as well. It's the benefit of doing these older labs is good. Save both of these just for reference all right and then uh, they talk about using some other help commands here G cloud dash H uh, and then it looks like that's like any command right and then dash dash help or verbose and then things like config i was asking in stack overflow how to to do this so that you don't have that pager that's the only way i know how to do it is like that uh, Seems like you would use one of those options to say, like, I don't know, Q or something. Don't show me any help. Don't show me a pager. All right. Yeah, and then he mentions that you found help config that's equivalent to G cloud config dash dash help so I I didn't even know that until I was doing this that you can put that dash dash help at the end so you don't have to go back and, and retype trying to find out where the help and will come up it's kind of cool. All right. View the list. View the list of configurations for your environment. Probably go through the pager. Nope. Config list. So. So here's what I was saying for, you've got the different pieces. So like the compute, I thought we would have like a default zone set for compute, but we don't. Let's do this thing where we list all of them. So like these are basically like all the commands or not commands, microservices, different pieces of Google Cloud, all of the different config settings you can set for them. So this is cool. Let's look into compute. Yeah, so see zone, that's composer. 
whereas compute compute here has a zone property and a region for defaults that we haven't set, which that is like different from zones of other components. And that was really what I was going to try and show you there at the beginning. So like data proc, right? He's going to have a different default region than compute is. Functions, cloud functions, same way. It's a good thing to save off. List your components. I think these are the installed components of the G Cloud commands, is what he's trying to say. So the saying I'm the latest version of, of this. G Cloud SDK is 2.99. We've got that. For the things that are installed, we've got uh, kube control commands. We've got the beta commands installed. Uh, we've got the stuff using the uh, PubSub emulator. I would think that we would have PubSub itself there. I thought maybe like there was like a separate pub sub command but I guess pub sub emulator is that uh, it, do we see functions for cloud functions functions mm. I don't see it Anything over here say cloud function? No. All right. Interesting. I don't know what scaffold is. Uh, this is having to do with clusters or running uh, dockers, container as a service, right? Uh, Anthos is the new thing. Don't know anything about that. Don't know what capital K customize is. Don't know what KPT is. Uh, App Engine Go extensions, I don't know. Other than it's probably Go for App Engine. And that was interesting. Look, at, I, I recently re read that you can use App Engine for Go now. It's not just Java and Python, or uh, what is it, Java, uh, JavaScript and Python. So, I mean, it's probably been out for a long time. I just didn't know about it. All right, so let's see, auto-completion. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then he wants you to install the beta components. But let's see, he's wanting you to install beta, but I thought that we saw beta components is already installed. Yeah, so it's already there. So we're not going to do that. But this is something kind of cool that I, I put on that test question because I hadn't seen it before. This was like question 20. There we go, finally. So now, G Cloud Compute. So you see, it's like you've, it's not just tab ahead. You can literally like go through and you've got the help screen there. It is F2, toggles that off. So there's with it toggled off. There's with it toggled on. Instances. Compute instances. I 
instances. Now it's going to be something like list, right? Let's get the help for the different things along the way. If not, I think you hit like the F9. Let's see. We'll see if it comes back. F9, yeah. Let's quit it. Quit. There we go. Uh, uh, he wanted you to do a instances describe. Pull it back. So now it, hitting tab, it knows what our VM is. So there it is. Why did this not work? Name of the instances to describe. So in US Central 1A, maybe we picked the wrong zone. Uh, so that's like our default zone is wrong. Did you mean no? Okay, that's what it was. We had the wrong default there. Oh, yeah. Auto deletes true. It's a compute instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, F9. Uh, you want to SSH into your instance. So we're in the shell here, and we're going to go from this into the actual compute instance that we created. So I guess he's generating a key, yada, yada, yada. All right, no passphrase. And so we're there. So I got, you can do all the, it's a, all the things you won't normally do in Linux. You don't have CPU info. Two prompt, two cores. All right, type exit. Do the same thing here. Similar. All right, now you're in the home directory. Uh, what they're wanting to show you here is that this is persistent across your logins. So, uh, I'm going to show your ISRC file. I'm going to put this back over. So, you know, we, we pretty much just did this lab, G, uh, getting started with Google Cloud. Three basic ways to interact with the GCP services. You got the console. You got the command line interface. 
I would say client libraries. So, right. so that's that. So uh, that is all that we've we've got scheduled. We've got an hour. So what I suggest now is I will turn off the uh, the recording and then just do your labs. If you have any questions with the labs, I'll check back in and, and uh, you know help somebody out if they have a problem. If someone, uh, I'll stop presenting. Stop recording.